Whether it's working livestock, running barrels, roping, or just for recreation, the saddle is an essential piece of gear for any horseman. MTN's Jason Laird takes us inside Grizzly Saddlery for this week's Ag Report. The old original way is still the best. Relatively unchanged for hundreds of years, the art of saddle making is carved into the Montana way of life. There's a lot of large ranches that still use and have to use horses to gather their cattle and work their cattle, and so we still build a lot of our equipment for working cowboys. It all started with an Austrian immigrant by the name of Victor Ariel. Following his journey west, he established Victor Aereo Saddlery in 1897. The Gray Falls business changed hands in the late 1950s and then again in 1978. But the legacy lives on today through Grizzly Saddlery. Victor Aereo kept records of all of the saddles that they ever built and they have them in a ledger book and I have that ledger book. And so if you, if your grandfather had a saddle made, let's say in 1940, and I can actually look it up and tell you what date he got it and how exactly how much he paid and it gives all the specs on that. Through the pages of its ledgers, Grizzly Saddlery tells the history of the working cowboy for more than a century. And it's a story that Jeff continues to craft. The coolest part about building saddles is creating something. When I was um, about nine years old, I got to see my dad's first custom saddle being made by a saddle maker. Even at that young age, I was blown away that you can take one cow and one sheep and a part of a tree and build that cool thing. The creative process is what you never get tired of. Reporting for the Montana Egg Network, I'm Jason Laird. As long as there is a horse, you need a saddle. MTN News. Thanks so much, Jason.